I guess danger and weirdness have always been the main feature in most of my stories, and I, I don't know why, probably just because I'm, I'm afraid of life, and <laughs> I, things scare me and everything, and I just, I, want, I try to make these stories in a way that the, the good guy is just lucky. He can, he can get through all these hellish uh, predicaments and you know, keep going. I'm Bruce Bickford, and I'm best known for clay animation, but I do a lot of other kinds of artwork, line animation, and lately I've been doing some graphic novels. I started doing clay animation in 64, when I was 17, just with model cars, but then, I started animating the clay figures that I had in the plastic model cars, and then eventually just went to animating the clay figures. My parents uh, supported me most of my life, and so the only major job I had was in the, s the 70s when I was working for Frank Zappa in the LA area. I worked for Frank Zappa from 74 through 80 and doing clay animation and then I got into more line animation and, and cell painting. The one kind of finished film I've released yet is the Prometheus Garden. I started that in 80 when I moved back up here from LA. As far as influences go, my family just had the most horrendous effects on me because they were all crazy, and I'm no exception. I mean, I was the craziest one of them all. I, I just could not uh, tolerate or absorb a, a lot of kind of subtle abuse, <laughs> and I'm not gonna tell you what it was because someone might want to do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing graphic novels like four years ago after being ripped off by a really vicious con man. The vampire story is the one I'm trying to finish up right now. A lot of these things don't even look like anything like they're supposed to yet. Just in the, in the past year, I've concentrated on that one because, partly because I think it's the uh, story that most people would relate to right now because vampire stuff is very popular. There's these terrible characters in my stories and if they, I, I, ju I just want to see those kind of characters, mean, horrible people, I just want to see them put down. And that's probably a huge emphasis in my stuff. I, I've always been insecure as a kid and everything. I just didn't, I, I was the, I was the one kid of the group who didn't have things figured out or didn't, didn't understand what was going on. And, got left behind in the things quite often. And I don't, probably my, a lot of my stories are an attempt to show someone who's just lucky and just gets through life uh, without getting squished by all the weird stuff that goes on. <laughs> <laughs> 